What's going on, everybody? Going back to some of these articles that I've been reading and looking at, I want to start touching base with it again with some of my thoughts and opinions onto this stuff. And it's been kind of crazy. Uh, be tuned for the next video that talks about uh, the grading numbers because I had something pop up that really surprised me. And I'm not too sure many people actually know um, what I'll be talking about in the video. It'll just come as a surprise that if you grade cards, you're going to be like, wow, I didn't know this because it threw me in a loop. So be on the lookout for that video coming up next. But in today's video, I found this article. It's from 22 December done by Rich Mueller. Link will be in the description as always to give credit to Rich. It talks about the quarterback carousel and eBay football card trends in 2023. Before I start this, just, you know, general disclaimer as always, this has nothing to do with me giving you guys go buy this, go sell this, or anything like that. It's just more of what I see, and I just look at this and just wonder with the articles and the, you know, I guess you could say quotation mark influencers talk out there and stuff, you know, Sometimes I wonder what the pure drive and motive is. You see a lot of people who will do paid endorsements or anything out there. I kind of, you know, call them uh, the marketing whores of the uh, industry because, hey, they get money, they'll support in any which way. But I was looking at this in particular, and in no way do with Sports Collectors Daily and stuff am I saying that they fall in this category. They put out some good articles out there. So... This here, like I said, it's called the quarterback carousel and eBay football trends in 2023. The first thing I looked at was Aaron Rodgers, okay? So everybody knows Aaron Rodgers traded or left, you know, basically. Packers, he gets, goes up to the Jets. Gets injured very, very quickly. But if you look, according to Terapeak, which is an eBay-provided uh, uh, service, from 1 April to September 15th, over 44,000 Rodgers cards were sold on eBay. I looked. I had seven of those. I was just curious onto it. For a total of more than $1.8 million, nine of his cards sold for $5,000 or more from April through August. Pretty good for Aaron Rodgers. Um, now, when you think about Aaron Rodgers, he's been around the league for a while. He is probably the veteran quarterback out there that actually has you know a lot of history. I mean, I know Flacco's still playing. He has a Super Bowl under his wing and stuff like this. But, you know, your big guys that are worried it, like Brady, gone. Roethlisberger, gone. Drew Brees, gone. Eli Manning, gone. Um, Phillip Rivers, he was around for a while, gone. Some people would throw Matt Ryan in that category. But they were already quarterbacks who, you know, had a proven track record. Even though as they got older, their numbers, some of them dwindled away. But looking for Aaron Rodgers itself, it was no surprise to me that his stuff would jump up in price. You know, leave Green Bay, you go to New York, bigger name quarterback. It's going to draw attention. New York's going to want to buy, you know, people, Jets fans, are want to buy his cards to have. Now, not saying that, you know, if he didn't get hurt, they would probably be in contention and all that other stuff. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. He says he wants to play another year. Hopefully he doesn't get injured again. But it says with, uh, with the Jets out of the playoff picture, the 40-year-old Rodgers will be back in the field again until next September. I think it's a smart idea. He wanted to hurry up and rush back. I heard he was doing really well after his surgery. But, you know, if you rush it and it doesn't really mean anything, to make, you can't make the playoffs and stuff, it makes sense. Hey, get some rest up. Keep going and driving on. But here's where some of the stuff starts to get interesting here. His 2005 Topps rookie card and PSA 10 have dropped from over $300 in late summer to just $200 in recent days. Makes sense. He's not playing. People forgot about him. They're on the next hype. C.J. Stroud um, probably is on that train right now, and I would say Brock Purdy too. If you look at all this quarterback, as they call it, the carousel, as it's going around, Look at how many of these quarterbacks got injured, people put big money on, or no longer starting quarterbacks, i.e. Desmond Ritter, not starting anymore. You know, um, really shockingly is uh, Sam Howe. He did pretty well, I thought. I mean, honestly, I would take Sam Howe as my quarterback in the team. It's just he had no line, and there was a lot of other issues down there. I didn't see him as a bad quarterback. 
But then you start looking, a lot of people were talking, look at Josh Allen, Pat Mahomes, they have high interception rates and everything. But you got to look how the game's being played, too. A lot of defenses are actually playing more onto those guys going out deep. Their pressures are different. The game changes and evolves. But um, everybody's like, you know, upset that they don't have better records and better stats and all this. I think at one time frame, he might still be leading interceptions as Josh Allen. Or if not, he's up there definitely in top five. But those cards there, when you look at those players, have significantly have been dropping in value. Um, Lamar Jackson, his stuff was pretty soft uh, through the summer and everything. And now all of a sudden his stuff's starting to spike up a little bit. It's all because we're gearing up towards that end of the season. And during this time frame, you've noticed everybody puts all this money usually. The smart people start it middle to end of February. And then they will stop buying around, uh, I'm going to say buy one May because they want to get their stuff graded. During that time frame, then you start waiting for the new products to come out, hurry up, try to grade your stuff, be the first person, yada, yada, yada. But the guys that are really into this will start buying like, I would say middle February-ish, end of February. They start putting their money into cards, hoping that during what I call the summer surge, which usually starts right after Memorial Day and goes to the end of the uh, National Convention. People are just buying, 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 hoping that they could, you know, make some bang for their buck on these guys. And it's been that way for years now. But let's see here. Okay, this is interesting here. Um... Rodgers was still playing for the Packers when Brock Purdy took over the starter for the 49ers last December. Everybody knows that. The following month, eBay says Purdy's name was searched over 100,000 times. Still the highest search volume for him this year. Of course, you know, he did get hurt. He was gone for a little bit. You know, he's had some rough games. And that's the one thing I always tell people is just because a quarterback has a couple rough games doesn't mean they're not a good quarterback. Things happen. I mean, even Tom Brady had back-to-back -back bad games. <laughs> and look where he's at now. You never know. But over 12 million worth of Purdy cards have been sold on eBay, with over 40 of them bringing $10,000 or more. Craziness, huh? There's still big market cards out there right now uh, that you could hit. But I'm telling you, or to open up those boxes from Panini and Tops at the price you're paying... What I call the bang for the buck is not there. So we'll use an example. If I buy Prism football this year, you guys know the set is a lot bigger. I think it's 400 and some cards. There's a ton of parallels. But if you guys watch the breaks, it's really hard to get bang for your buck onto that. If you're buying the Texans or the Colts, um, I even heard last night that the Rams were expensive. I mean, they got two decent rookies into it, but why would you spend, I can't remember if you said it was two or $300. I think it was $300 for a full case and you're chasing like a running back and a wide receiver. Ugh. you know, I just look at, it, I'm just like, if I hit a base rookie of that person, that rookie card, in that class, does it cover my spot price? Normally, the answer is no. Now, if I grade it and it comes back at 10, yes, but then I got time into it. I have to pay the grading fees and everything else. But there's still people out there that are out for the gamble and want to hit the $10,000 card, you know, in the product and stuff like that. But I found this article very, very interesting. And here's some links you guys could clink on, like the Brock Purdy cards being very popular heading into 2024. Another true statement. I have a lot of people, as I was setting up at the show's end of the year, that, you know, pretty much had the, you know, same thing. They were looking for Brock Purdy. They were looking for C.J. Stroud. Of course, I had Will Levis, uh, you know, but that's because, you know, Tennessee's close to me, so I can't really like using him that much for example. But he was asked about, but that's also because the territory that I was in down here at the show's. And that's going to be another future video I want to talk about card shows in 2024 and why I've decided pretty much to slow down on setting up that that's coming. Um, the king of the quarterbacks still remains Patrick Holmes, blah, blah, blah. They won the Super Bowl, yada, yada, yada. 
I can tell you by looking at some Mahomes cards that I re I even has still have rookie year included graded. From the time they won that Super Bowl until present time, they've dipped in price. Don't let all the fluff in the articles that you read think that, oh, these things are still going up and they're holding steady in price. The answer is no. I can tell you that right off the bat. But it was just interesting when you look at this over 300,000 Mahomes cards that sold over the past 12 months for over 20 million. Over 80 of them had prices of 10,000 or more, topped by the National Treasures Black Rookie Auto 3 out of 5. Grade 10 went for 60,000. 60. Thousand, January 23rd of last year, just prior to the AFC victory, it says there. So pretty interesting article, but when you look at what it was grasping at, I think they needed to hit more on is this carousel of quarterbacks, right? Every year people were buying, buying, buying quarterbacks. If you go out there and buy 10 of the quarterbacks, right, we'll just say like a third of the population spend your money into it, it may not pan out. Look at this year. Unless you were like really had C.J. Stroud, Brock Purdy, um, I'll throw Tua in that mix, and probably Lamar Jackson, I can tell you now those were not names that shows that people were looking for minus Purdy. They were all looking. Josh out, Kenny Pickett, um, Desmond Ritter. There was a couple more. It's it's going to hit me here <laughs> as soon as I, I sign off, too. Um, gosh, my quarterbacks are just uh, killing me right now with the other names. I'm trying to think of guys that did not come out, like Will Levis and stuff, later on through the year. Joe Burrow was another name. Justin Herbert. Um, Fields, huge. Fields was huge. I got Panini Redemptions back in. I knew to sell them because I just don't have faith up in there. Another one that a lot of people were looking for was towards the end. Uh, there was just a couple guys, I should say, not a lot. Jared Goff, and I think they've done very well with Jared Goff. He has two stud receivers up there. Amra St. Brown and uh, what's his, uh, Laporta plays the other uh, receiver up there. But that whole carousel that I'm talking about is that, you know, usually you try to chase like two or three guys and you hope one pans out. What I've been seeing a lot of times is guys getting every quarterback they can buy. And if you did that going into this season, a lot of that's going to come back to bite you, regardless of what anybody says, because a lot of people don't sell on the quick up spike. They want to sell once they get to the playoffs, and they're holding, holding, holding. And this is no joke. I know guys who do this until those um, AFC, NFC championship games, you got four teams up, they start unloading, and they look back at all the inventory they bought, and they get sad. Very, very quickly. Uh, that, to me, is what the carousel is, is that people see the whole picture instead of looking, okay, you know, I'm going to try to go into, like, these two or three quarterbacks for, quote, investment points onto to try to make money. I mean, I used to do that, but I was more of the person who, when stuff was affordable from, like, I'm going to say 2018 and back, I would chase a lot of the quarterbacks like Mahomes, Josh Allen. Those, those are my big ones there. I wasn't really out for Baker Mayfields and Sam Darnolds. Lamar Jackson was another one I didn't believe in. Deshaun Watson. People like that there. I just, I don't know. It was just something inside me. I, a lot of you guys knew that I was in Justin Herbert really early. Really glad, too. And then got rid of all but a couple that, you know... I have nothing into him after what I sold everything else out there on to him. Sometimes you get lucky with the stabs and that one pick in the quarterback and I'm telling you there's other years you don't. But very, very good article here. Like I said, I just wish they would hit the carousel. I, well, if I should say my meaning towards the carousel, showing that you have this big picture of all these quarterbacks out there and not just highlighting a few of them that showed all these sales, but showing with all these sales and then watching how many of them have dipped, gone down in value, and that people are still holding with the hope that they're going to be able to get their money back or more money onto it. It's not always going to happen. 
it's actually very, very slim onto those matters. Unless you have somebody like Patrick Mahomes, who just says has an off year, he gets injured, people forget about him, prices dip, next year he goes out and wins the Super Bowl. That's possible. But a lot of the other ones, it's really not possible on, in my opinion. All right, guys, that's it. A little long-winded here. We're a little bit over the 15-minute mark. I wanted to keep it to about 15 anyhow. I appreciate it as always. You guys take care. Have a good one. Have a good new year, and I'll see you guys next year.